perfect. Okay. So, also do countdown from free, I guess. So, uh, if you're ready, Sriser. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so you, <laughs> this is what you guys get. So, if you haven't ever seen this game before, this game was made by Mega Phil X. If you ever heard of him, and it was released back in 2013, so like six years ago. Probably one of the most popular fan games if you ask the average Mega Man player. But for now, we're gonna we're gonna go to Tri Nitro. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of explosions here that do like six damage, and you're gonna see at the very end how. <laughs> How very little HP I'm gonna have. Shout out to Zero Two, by the way. And this stage is also mostly vertically, so you're gonna see me using Rush Coil pretty much to the most I can use it. Okay. Sorry, this is not a stage you wanna die in at all. Coming up is probably the hardest screen in the stage. Oh. <laughs> okay, our HP is not no longer tight then. <laughs> I shouldn't have I, I shouldn't have went for that. Uh, let's 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 just do that again. <laughs> So there's like three strats you can do there. That's um that one's faster than that's the fastest method of doing that screen. <laughs> so I'm just that good at this game. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, if we I've tried like three times now. Or I mean two times. So let's just do things the easy way. Sorry guys, you donated for this. <laughs> uh, but yeah... I, uh, there we go. So, I'll, I'll mention again why we're doing Nitro for... Trying Nitro, excuse me, first. So... The reason why we came come here first in particular is just because we don't need a lot of rush jet or we don't really need a lot of utility weapons aside from rush coil. And you and he has also a pretty quick buster fight. <laughs> yeah, Creed, I gotta go all out on this. So Tri Nitro Man has a we interesting mechanic where if you hit him three times in the head, he'll explode. Oh, I'm out of coil. He'll do free damage. Um, but if you fire, if you hit him in the head in the third time, when he only has 4 HP, he'll actually finish him off so you won't have to... <laughs> you won't see any kind of double KO. So that's one of the most dangerous stages in run. <laughs> so now you're we're gonna get the Nitro Blast, which is kind of similar to a weapon you might have seen in Rock Med 2 Gray Zone. So it fires this short range blast that obliterates pretty much any shielded enemy. Though so you're not gonna see it until the boss. For now, time time for some mashing. You see, when I switch to my hand, hand grip, it kind of just, I kind of just tap the, <laughs> I kind of just tap the R button. What? <laughs> I'm honestly glad I took that game over. It's 
that's fine. You you don't get to see some Buster Nail Man. Then. Okay, hopefully that's the last step in the run. <laughs> You guys like that? Also, you get to see some pretty interesting coil mechanics in this stage. So you can interrupt your knockback be a coil if you just interact with coil right after getting hit. Let's just kind of cancel your knockback. Mash him. <laughs> I should be able to mash him. I should be able to kill him before his hammer hits the ground. Damage boosting. I think we might have gotten an HP drop somewhere because normally I would have less HP than this. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes if you're... Sometimes if you're on the ground while taking damage, you'll... Yeah, you'll just get stuck in the ground. I think they are Stryzer. Okay, I think we think I've taken enough deaths this run. Trust me guys, I'm I'm good at this game. So now it's a nail man. Yeah, this fight's pretty basic since you have this weakness. All you do is just shoot nitro and cancel it out. It has a cooldown. Ah. Okay, nice and easy. <laughs> I've I've heard that pun many times in the past. It's not a new pun or anything. Okay, so now that we're done with Nail, we're gonna go to Tank since that's what his weakness is. So this is my favorite stage actually in Hundo because you would be doing Comet first in that run, but instead we're going to be doing Nitro first for this. So just like Nail, this stage has a ton of damage boosting. Uh, not quite in the start, but you'll see it later on.
Using rush to cancel knockback. More mashing. Pretty good on HP so far. This is this is a nice trick. And you can also use that same mechanic where you cancel knockback via rush. The same same thing with Russia too. Hey, good stage. So a uh, tank man in this game is kinda like Heat Man. Heat Man in a way that he'll charge at random Wait, I'm down a nail. Okay, so there's like three different times he can charge. He gave me the the essentially a 60. You, it's the interesting fact is you actually don't want to get a you don't want to get a 30 because there's a high chance of him uh running into your second nail shield shot when you fire it. So yeah, you're either a 60 or a 90 is what you want. So if you've seen Hundo for this game, you would, you would see a lot of people going to Comet first. But n we're not doing that for any percents. So you get to see us use all these weapons to our max potential. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, nice D-pad. Uh, okay then... Let's just hope no controller problems happen for the rest <laughs> I don't want to get. I don't want to get that same curse Creed has. Also, thanks for the luck. Yeah, I. I was. Uh. 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 Oh, there. <laughs> I'm also really sorry this is happening. It was fine when I was testing it earlier. Starting to wish install metal was the <laughs> got was the one that got that won the bid war. But anyways, the comet dies in like four hits, so there's really not much to talk about. Yeah. 
And so I guess it's talk about the Comet Dash. <laughs> so if you watch Mega Man 11 before, this is kind of like your beta impact, I guess. You can dash across the screen, but only like once at a time. And also, this is... You would normally also do the stage first in Z-Proto simply because you would get the speedster upgrade. But we don't... We only get the, the jet missile from here, so... I kinda just delay this stage for later. So we can have more weapons. But like, um, Rush Jeff, for instance. And you would also... You also take an alternate path. In Hundo, you would go to the left. Hey, don't recommend trying this at all if you're new to this game. Okay. It only saves like one second. And you can't do... Or you would have to do a harder fight on Jetman, which I'm going to attempt to do. So, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is... Um, Tank Arsenal and Nail Shield are kind of like Triple Blade and Mega Bazooka from Mega Man 9 and 10. So, I'm going to... Just try and stack damage on him. It's not... It's not really his true weakness because because each piece of the tank arsenal in each piece piece of the nail shield only does one damage. His actual weakness is Comet, which does seven, I think. But yeah, good RNG. <laughs> you don't usually see that in runs. Yeah, now that we have the jet missile, we're gonna go to Yo-Yo Man stage since that's what his weakness is. By the way, feel free to post sour please in chat. Also, this stage is an absolute nightmare for drops. In fact, I'm getting pretty lucky so far. <laughs> Speaking of drops... I'm not gonna blame myself. I was practicing install metal earlier instead of this because I thought it was gonna win the bid war. Yeah, I'm letting you guys experience this, this, this song.
Yeah, <laughs> props to everybody for trying to make that happen. Yeah, normally you would use comment that last screen. And Yo Yo Man, Yo Yo Man basically doesn't exist. At least for Mega Man. So now we're gonna get the Yo Yo Cutter, which is kind of like a Shadow Blade. It's kind of a mix between Shadow Blade and Metal Blade. Uh, you can fire it in multiple directions, and it'll actually roll on, on the ceiling and ground. But you'll, you'll see that in the Yo-Yo Man fight. <laughs> the saves. And also, you can actually do zips in this game. Ah. So, you need V-Sync in order for that to work. Or you need to have V-Sync off. I don't know, this game's weird. So. V-Sync does some weird things to this game, like lets you zip on ceilings. In fact, you're gonna, you're gonna see that for even longer here. Riser set up. So, and um, the zip speed in this game is also determined by your computer's uh, your FPS, which is determined by how good your computer is. <laughs> yeah, I actually learned that from Stryzer. <laughs> Yeah, like playing playing with Z V Sync on makes the game feel slower. Like just naturally when you're playing it. And it guess that does make sense considering the FPS is higher when V Sync is off. Okay, so now we're we're gonna go to Rainbow Man stage, which is kind of like a Quick Man 2.0 stage, if you want to think about it like that. And you, there's these weird prison shooter guys that you can knock, that you can hit in order to change their directions. Which I was doing a little bit there. <laughs> I was just jumping for swag purposes. <laughs> okay, at least that death wasn't very costly. Doo -doo. But anyways, that was the lob double. <laughs> okay, I was just expecting the mini boss to die sooner. It happens, guys. <laughs> Let's just uh, put it at that. I can figure out a couple of strats I can do to save Comet.
Okay, so there's an alternative path right there, but you would do that in Hundo. It's like 15, 20 seconds slower from what I remember. So you don't want to do that in any percent. Okay, so gonna try to do a little quick kill here. Normally, after like four, four or five seconds, Rainbow Man's gonna try to teleport away. But we're not gonna let him do that. <laughs> okay, that's the eight robots. This isn't, this isn't quite the best run. <laughs> And we're gonna get Rainbow Man's weapon, which isn't isn't very useful, but you'll you'll see me use it like twice in the Wily stages. And also, I don't I don't quite remember the plot in this game, but it, I'm <laughs> I haven't played this game casually in a while. And coming up is Wily 1, which is 70% rush jetting. You'll see in the later half. But for now, we're gonna do screen 1 here. Lose it. So I'm gonna pick up uh free drops here. Hey, that's two. And let's grab that. <laughs> Just for safety purposes. Okay, we're for all the, we're for all the tough parts. I think those jumps are like free frames. Shoutouts to walls. <laughs> Last drop. We don't. We're not gonna be really using that much rush jet for the rest of the run. Oh, you'll see, you won't see it at all in Wily 2, but you'll see it in uh, Wily 4 a bit. There goes Crab. <laughs> yes, yeah, shoutouts to Mr. Crab. Yeah, uh, I forgot to mention, but that you, you, um, you're only able to do that on the speedrun version, since that was patched on later versions. Actually, there's a lot. There's uh, quite a few things that are patched in the speedrun version, or um, in the newer version. Blue zips are patched. Uh, pretty much most of the speedrun glitches you would do are patched, aside from the ceiling zips I was doing in Glue Man stage.
Also, this is Prissy's favorite song. And also, thanks for the luck, Beth. You also get to see a lot of blue zipping in this stage. <laughs> okay then, <laughs> oh, oh, what? that's on me by the way. Shout out to the top routes. <laughs> Only like half a second slower than bottom routes. At least when I tested it. Yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad when I started. Um, like last time I did actual series runs of this game that I switched the top route. <laughs> I haven't died in that screen in such a long time. Also, sorry Squidman, but you gotta kill the Octo to beat the game. <laughs> okay, now we're, well, now we're gonna go to a Wily 3. Stage is probably the second hardest in the whole run. There's just a lot of weapon usage. And this also is where we're gonna use our W tank where like I've been saving up since Rainbow. Also gravity flippers because why not? And I, I uh, also, and there um, you can't zip left in case you were wondering. So I can't zip on every every screen. Just so tricky at a high level. Glad we haven't really had any controller problems in the Wily stages, though. More Rushed, more Comet, and there's a lot of strats you can do in this stage in case you decide to pick this, this game up. I skip some Yoku blocks. And um let's do the zip here. You can you can do it from down there, but <laughs> I think I've taken enough steps for one marathon run. Mm -hmm. 
also break split. Most important split. Then I'm fought. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is actually a Mega Man fan game, in case anybody didn't know. Released all the way back in 2014. And, um, by the way, in case anybody wants to play this game yourself, you can type in Mega Man Unlimited into Google, and then one of the first few things that pops up is a link to Mega Phil X's website where you can download this. I'm gonna grab one more M tank. Or I mean W tank. This is the longest stage in the run. So we're just gonna be using as many <laughs> weapons as we can use here. Oh yeah, thanks, thanks, Creed, for uh, for telling me that. Uh, I I've actually forgot he removed it from his sights. He used to have it, but obviously, feel free to ask me or Creed if you want to get the speedrun version of this. Okay, so shoutouts to BT, he actually found an easier method of doing that quick kill compared to my method. Here's, Rain here's Rainbow Man, and he's dead. So yeah, that that's also another difference between the speedrun version and the newer version. We're not gonna- we're not gonna- we're not gonna be doing that on every boss, so the refights aren't quite that easy. Oh. There's Jetman! <laughs> uh... Stream... my stream... Or at least on my end of the stream, it's fine. Yeah, you... Normally in Mega Man games, you only have... Just the bosses themselves. So this is a little longer than you would expect since you have all these little mini stages. Sip. Time for Glue Man round two. And this might look a little weird. Normally there's eight robot masters, not nine. Hmm, seems a little suspicious. Surprise, it's actually Yoku Man. Got the quick kill. <laughs> so if you if you were to do this do this game 100%, you would actually fight Yoku Man earlier.
Yes, yes, I did find I did come up with that quicker kick quick kill by the way. And <laughs> this is Wily. A free face fight if you would count the base. So I'm gonna be trying to get these double hits. I can actually predict how long it is until Wily comes out of his out of his or when he kinda of starts his jump based on what movement he did before um, in advance. So if he did a run across the room, or I mean a full jump across the room and then he ran, you know he's gonna open up sooner compared to if he just did a short jump and walked across the room. Also, it's time for your favorite part of the run. Everybody, what everybody was waiting for. Kappa. Door, door, door. 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 Okay, that, that's all. Um, that's most of the doors done. And also, a little somebody here. <laughs> Zero. Didn't, didn't we just see this guy like 45 minutes ago? Um, if you're on PC, then <laughs> you want to kind of, there's this little, little, little box symbol around the bottom of the screen. Click that and it'll ask you to disable it. I mean, I mean, Mega Man Extreme 2 was just before this. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Okay, last, last part of the run, we gotta actually escape from this place since it's gonna blow up. And I can't actually use any weapons. So it's just gonna be jump, jump, slide, slide. Yeah, that's one of the downsides to the crowd control extension. And we, well, that's it. The time's coming up when the screen fades to black. And that's time. Thank you everybody for the GG's. I hope you enjoyed even if that <laughs> even with all those controller problems, but we shouldn't have that for uh, the bonus game coming up, which you guys did donate for, so thank you again for that.